layovers. Some people love them, some people hate them. Sometimes they're 45 minutes, sometimes they're 24 hours. It's time to refresh and recharge. It's time to stretch your legs after being squished like sardines in a little airplane. Shorter connections are easier to talk about. But what about a really long layover? What do you do? That's where I come in. Let me help you. I am Lauren Kelly and I am from It's the Kellys and we are here to help you travel often and pack well. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please do so down below and give us a comment on this video so that I can know what you need the most help with when it comes to travel. I did a layover for beginners video that you can check out right up here and it really did help a lot of travel newbies and a lot of other people that have traveled a lot like me have even chimed in in the comments to help other people out as well. So hopefully this video can help out too because today we are talking about long layovers. We are going to talk about what to do during them. We are going to talk about can you leave the airport, all sorts of good stuff. And I'm also going to share with you a lot of the airports that I did do a long layover and left the airport and had so much fun in. I personally love long layovers. So of course I would rather get to my destination sooner. Who doesn't want to start your vacation as soon as possible. If I can have a good three or four hour layover, I'm gonna take it. However, if I can have a 24 hour layover in a brand new country that I haven't been to before, I'm probably gonna take that as well. Sometimes they even seek them out on purpose. Sometimes they can also be really necessary. Honestly, in the travel climate right now with all of these missed flights and everything like that and chaos at the baggage claim, I do not recommend doing a layover for under three hours. Honestly, if I were to lay over in some of these major international airports, I would probably want five hours. And those five hours probably aren't gonna give me much recharge and relaxation. It's just gonna be a lot of just heading through the airport and dealing with crowds. All right, so let's chat about it. There are three types of long layovers that you are going to come across when you are in flight research mode. The first one is going to be if you land at say 8 p.m. and your next flight is at 8 a.m. That's going to be an overnight layover, which means you're gonna to have to sleep. There's also the layover where you land at 8 a.m. and you don't leave again until 8 p.m., which means you have all day long. There's also going to be longer layovers where you actually have to change airports and that you really need to think about as well because sometimes it is not easy to get all the way across town to the other airport. So think about a lot of these when you book your flight because if you're going to have 12 hours in a country to explore, you need to figure out if you're gonna be able to do that or not. If you're gonna have 12 hours that you're gonna to need to sleep, then you're gonna to need to figure out where are you gonna sleep and how much is it gonna cost. And then if you have the one where you have to change airports, is it even possible? How much is it gonna cost and how long is it going to take? So when I am in flight research mode and I find a long layover and I'm considering booking that flight, the first thing I'm going to do is Google. I'm gonna Google the airport name plus layover plus how long the layover is. And then you're going to find all types of websites with tips and tricks of what to do in that city for that amount of hours. It's also important to check out the visa situation in the country that you're laying over in. For example, if you are flying Turkish Airlines, you are likely going to lay over in Istanbul, Turkey, which is an amazing city to check out. However, if you're an American, you're going to need to get an e-visa in advance, pay the fee, print it out, present it before you leave the airport. You're probably wondering, can I leave the airport? So let's talk about that. You will have to go through customs and immigrations in order to leave the airport if you have a long layover. But then you're going to have to return to the airport and go through it all again. So you really need to think about if everything is going to be worth it to leave the airport and explore and come back again. Let's use Paris as an example. If you're gonna get off your flight and go through customs and immigrations, let's say a good hour after landing. Then you need to take a train into the city 
which is also about another hour. So that's two. But then let's think backwards because you need to arrive to the Paris airport at least three hours before. So you have two hours in the beginning and three hours at the end, as well as the hour to get back to the airport. So that's six hours that you need just to get to and from the airport, go through customs and immigrations and check back into your flight with security. So if you only have seven hours to layover in Paris, that's not going to be enough time. I know that seven hours in an airport can be quite boring, but to do all of that stuff, to only have one hour in that city sometimes really isn't worth it. You're also probably wondering about your luggage because if you carry on your bag, which you should if you're watching my channel, then you're gonna have your bag with you while you do a layover. You're gonna have it with you at the airport the whole time. If you leave to go to the city, you're gonna have it with you then. So you're definitely gonna wanna do some sort of bag storage situation. And at that point, I like to Google that to see if there's one at the airport or anywhere else in the city. But if you checked your luggage, you are going to need to check with your airline to see if during that long layover, you need to pick up your luggage at baggage claim or not. That could be very detrimental to a long layover if you are planning on exploring. So do make sure to check that with the person checking your bag when you're at your home airport and starting your flight. It is pretty likely if you have a 24 hour layover that you will need to pick up your bags for baggage claim, have them for your whole 24 hour layover, and then come back and recheck them again the next day. I have spent some amazing times in some amazing countries just with layovers. I had a layover in Seoul, South Korea, where we actually did a free city tour that the airport provided. We visited a palace, we went shopping, we had Korean barbecue, and we went round trip to and from the airport all for free. And then made our way to Malaysia. In Turkey, while I was on my way to Ghana, we went to the Blue Mosque, we did a Haman Spa, we had an amazing Turkish dinner, we went shopping, we went on a boat ride, had such an amazing time in Istanbul for like 12 hours, I think it was. And after spending time in Scotland, I had an amazing layover with one of my friends where we flew into Reykjavik, rented a car, and did the entire Golden Circle tour, as well as snorkeled Silfra all during a layover. I definitely got an amazing taste of Iceland there where I was able to check it off of my bucket list. However, I know that 18 hours was not enough at all and that I definitely need to go back. I've also laid over in LA, Amsterdam, Paris, Bahrain, Taiwan, Portugal, El Salvador, New York, Miami, Cartagena, so many amazing places to lay over. If it's possible, definitely take advantage and leave the air Airport. I promise you you're gonna have an awesome time. Now if you don't have enough time to leave the airport that is totally fine. During these weird post-COVID times I don't blame you if you don't want to try and leave. But you should definitely research the airport that you're laying over in because sometimes they have absolutely amazing things to do in the airport. A lot of the times if you have a good travel credit card you do have access to airport lounges and I have spent many an hour in a lounge. I even spent, I think, 12 hours in a lounge is the longest that I've been in there. My card has priority pass and they have lounges in so many different airports. So a few tips for long layovers. Airports can be really cold, so you definitely want to have some warmer items with you. Airports are also very expensive, so it is smart to pack snacks as well as some sort of empty water bottle so that you can likely refill it for free. So let's end this video with a whole list of fun things that you can do during your long layover if you're going to stay at the airport. And then I'm also going to feature fun little printable games that you can play during your long layover on our website coming soon. Catch up on sleep, do some travel research for your destination, do some travel research for a future trip, walk the entire airport and get some exercise. You wanna do some lunges? Do it. 
you can people watch. That's what I like to do. Create a scavenger hunt and have the people at home give you ideas. Find a lounge. If it's not included, then you can probably even pay for one. You might as well ask. Call a friend and catch up. How often do we do that anymore? Delete old pictures and screenshots off of your phone. Play with a deck of cards. You can freshen up to kind of, you know, wash your face and put on some makeup and curl your hair. Do a YouTube makeup look that you've been meaning to try. If you have all of these hours and you have your stuff with you, give it a go. Read a book. Challenge yourself to read the whole thing. Talk to strangers. I have made so many friends while traveling the world. Binge your favorite Netflix show. Try some local food. Book a hotel room. You never know. Sometimes there will be day rates at the hotel across the street from the airport. Try some samples at Duty Free. I personally love going to the La Mer counter and putting it all over my face when it's like $100 for like half of a bottle. Do word searches or Sudoku or fill in puzzles. Download Duolingo and learn a free language. Go window shopping. There are so many airports that are outside of the US that are pretty much like very high-end amazing malls. Play guess the price at everything at the airport. It's really fun. Or you can binge watch all of my YouTube videos. Why not? That'd be helpful to me. Let me know right now if you are watching this video while you are laying over at an airport because I'm really curious to know. All right, I know that list was kind of silly, but hopefully this video was very helpful for you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions whatsoever, and I am happy to answer them for you. And it's very likely that somebody else watching this has the same question as you. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for even more tips so that you can travel often and pack well like we do. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you later.